when you receive um, a review and the immediate reaction is to respond. So let me give you an example here. We at Accelerate Marketing, yep, we have 174 Google reviews. And so what do you see um, as the common theme after every review that was left? We have a response. And so the reason for this is, is because it's how, okay, so when you have written a review for another business, is it something that you just easily just pull out and write the review and submit it? Or do you have to go through a process of, what am I gonna say? How do I really convey my thank you? And, and maybe I'll just put five stars and just press submit because I don't know what to say. Or, um, I, I mean, that could take like 10 minutes of thought, two hours of a thought. It could take um, two days, it could take a couple weeks. And then you just finally say, mm, I'm not gonna do it. Or once you write a review, do you kind of think, well, how weird, nobody even said anything. <laughs> I'm not doing that again, <laughs> right? So we have this thing to where anytime somebody responds to us and we have a weekly review meeting where we discuss the reviews, where we give out woohoos, where we celebrate, we make sure to say thank you and, and really acknowledge the fact that a review has been left because it is so very much appreciated. So here, you know, after an individual leaves us a review, we make sure to respond back immediately, at least, at the very least, within 24 hours of the time uh, that the review was left. And the next time we meet with our client, we also make sure to say, hey, thank you for the review because it, it really means a lot. <laughs> it really means a lot. And so I wanted to show you that. Let me switch back over to my presentation here. Push play. Wah. Okay, good. Um, uh, okay, so respond to a review. Now, 17%. Now, this information is coming straight from the 2017 Consumer Review, review Survey that Bright Local um, gives out every year. And so uh, their 2018 one, I think I read something about it coming out here in the next couple of weeks. So we'll be able to see how these numbers um, increase from the previous year. And they have, I mean, from 2016 to 2017, there's been a significant increase in these numbers. And it's not decreases, it's always some type of increase or some type of change. So reviews do make a huge impact on your business. And it's something that I would encourage you to um, make a priority. 17%. Fewer people will visit a business website um, after reading uh, good re reviews. I think I typed that wrong. <laughs> so the number of consumers who visit a business as their next step has grown by 10% in the last year, which was 17%. And this is referring back to um, 2016. And so that has increased as well. So um, a review, take it as a word of, as word of mouth. And, and tell me guys, how many times have you um, considered a new business and, and gone to Google and read their reviews? And I mean, how did you feel when you were reading some of their reviews? Was your decision based off of what those uh, customers left? Or did you move on to another business based off of what a customer left? And also, if you noticed a business respond, what, what did, how did you feel about that as well? I mean, so really, when you're looking at reviews or when you're thinking about new business and you're kind of looking things, looking things up on Google, take a moment to be aware and pay attention to it, to it and then think, what are my customers thinking when they see um, my business online? <laughs> you know, and just really, really just, take that in. And, and two, uh, since I'm here, I'd like to invite you to take our online reputation management quiz. See what your online reputation score is. We'll ask you maybe about five questions um, that you can answer, which, you know, you don't even have to type yes. You can just click the button yes or no and um, see what your score is. So in the comments below, make sure to type out reputation Oh, I forgot it already. <laughs> um, 
online reputation. Here it is, online reputation. <laughs> Make sure you type online reputation. Okay, so um, next, once you receive your review, you've got to respond, okay? And another thing is, how recent does a review need to be? I mean, would you uh, think the business is the same if you read a review that was left two years ago? If Would you think that um, the business is the same if you read a review six months ago? What about four months ago? Or do you look for the most recent review in order to make a decision? Because 77% of consumers that think that reviews older than th three months aren't relevant anymore. And so this is a continual process, which is why when you're working with clients on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or a monthly basis, um, it's, it's very important to ask for a review when you've earned it. And if you're kind of curious and you didn't catch <clears throat> my video yesterday, uh, take a look at it because I give you the two W's of how to ask for a review when you've earned it. 18% um, of consumers only care about reviews submitted within the last two weeks. So let that set in because um, one, it takes, um, it takes um, a while to get a review. And then that review, you know, is good for two weeks. So, so um, <laughs> that's why we got to keep asking and that's why we got to keep giving thanks for those who leave a review <laughs> and 4% of consumers pay any attention to reviews submitted over a year ago. So when you receive your review, it is important to say thank you, like I've said, and it's also important to share it on your social media sites to, um, I mean, you could just take a quick screenshot and say, you know, thanks to this client, it and you can even um, write a copy and paste your response back instead of trying to think of something else before you post it. And you can post that. Now, we also have a really cool system that um, markets your reviews to the world um, to see in such a neat way. And we'll get into that um, later. But our, our system is really cool. <laughs> and so it's very important to, you know, share those reviews with the world and also Google offers some really neat, uh, it's a neat kit. If you have a Google My Business page and it's only a one-time thing, but you can request a postcard of a review that was left so that you can hang it in your um, place of business. You can hang it in your office, you can hang it in the, in the store um, or you can hang it like near the staff area so you can remind the staff to ask for continuously ask for reviews. Um, so let's see, let's move to the next. Now, have you ever left a review for another business? I know I kind of touched base with this a few minutes ago, but 26% um, haven't yet reviewed a local business, but would consider it. And so what we like to say is seven out of 10 people will say yes, if you simply ask for a review, ask them to leave a review. And so um, sometimes people don't like asking for a review because rejection is always, you know, some type of fear or some type of thing, but um, go for a hundred no's <laughs> in a year and see how many reviews you get. 63% <laughs> of have written a positive review for local businesses and 32% have left reviews for negative experiences. So you rarely, you know, um, you would get, you may or may not get a negative review, but I mean, it's something that you shouldn't be shy about because those reviews are the most valuable feedback that you can have on making your business that much sweeter or that much better. And so uh, those reviews are always um, 